Thank you, you are done. Thank you. Feels amazing. It's a privilege. It has been a long nine months. All the nurses are very excited to get this because it's the the key to ending COVID. There you go. Okay, thank you. And again, they still be in the closet, so you just grab those. Amazing, historic. I mean, it's been a long time, and this is so exciting. It's so exciting for everybody. They didn't have this back in 1918 with the Spanish flu, so this is this truly is just an amazing thing. Relief and raw emotion as Pfizer coronavirus vaccinations continue to roll out. Those scenes are from Indiana, but it's the same kind of thing we're seeing here in Canada as the first in line get their shot. As for the U.S. outbreak, it continues to grow worse by the day. Tragically, with the end of the pandemic in sight, thanks to those vaccines. We are still at a dangerous and critical part of this pandemic and tens of thousands of American lives are at stake really uh, every week. And we can flatten the curve. Please listen to the public health messages. Um, masks do work. That from the leading member of the White House Coronavirus Task Force on CNN Wednesday as U.S. hospitalizations are setting records for what's closing in on 20 straight days. We have to be mindful of how deadly this disease, this pandemic is. A sobering update from California's governor, who says his state has now activated its mass fatality program. Here's what we've just done. You know, we have orders in 60, 53-foot refrigerated storage units are currently standing by now in counties and at hospitals. We just had to order 5,000 additional body bags they just purchased for the state. Many hospitals in California have run out of space in their intensive care units. And before the day's final tallies came in, the LA Times reporting California's latest daily coronavirus death toll shattering records, reaching nearly 300 fatalities. Melissa Duggan, City News.